Yeah, I mean, um, you know, we you got here like a week ago, so uh, I feel like I haven't seen everything yet. But uh, it's definitely great having him on market. Uh, I feel like he's going to make us a better team, and uh, you know, it, it makes us more competitive. Overall, as a team, it seems like this, you guys enjoy playing with each other. Um, coming into an environment, obviously being a rookie. Um, what have you learned from guys that have been in D.C. for a while, such as Kyle Kuzma, Jordan Booth? Yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, learning from these guys, you know, when we play pickup and everything, uh, you know, it's just the pace, uh, how they play. Uh, you know, it's a fast-paced game, and uh, you can see that, you know, when we play pickup and everything. So, you know, just trying to mimic what they do and, uh, you know, see what, what their habits is. Hey, Alex, um, I don't know if we've spoken to you since the Summer League. After uh, playing in Vegas, what has been your focus in your training program since then? Yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, that's what my coaches work on. Uh, I feel like we work on everything. Uh, I've been working on my body, been working on my shot, on, uh, you know, my ball handling, my defense. There isn't one thing I haven't been working on, really. And what's it been like uh, in these informal scrimmages and practices that you guys have had, just being in that NBA environment and, you know, being on the court uh, with your new teammates? Yeah, it's been great. You know, everybody competes hard. Uh, everybody wants to win. Uh, so it's great energy. Everybody's pushing each other to be better. So, uh, you know, it's been a really, really like, great pickup games. Hey, Alex. Varn Chunker with the Washington Post. Do you have a preference between playing at the four and the five? Uh, not really. Uh, I feel like nowadays, you know, it's really whoever's up front plays the five, whoever is back plays the four. So uh, I think that what, what can make us a special team is uh, really having that versatility. And, uh, you know, some, some plays I might play the five, some plays I might play the four. And that's not really what I'm focused on. What are the goals you have for yourself that you and the team have set for yourself coming into the season? Yeah, so for me really it's just getting better, like game by game, uh, being locked in my routine, leaving my print on the game, and, uh, you know, really trying to impact winning as much as I can. Hey, Alex. Bijan Todd, my email sports network. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, man. Uh, so since you got to D.C. and played in the summer league and all that, have any Wizards coaches talked to you about what they like about your game, what they want you to work on, or anything like that? Have, have they been in communication with you about that? Yeah, I mean, we, we talk a lot about everything. Um, you know, that happens sometimes during practice. Uh, some piece of advice after play, you know, uh, what a coach likes you to do or not, and, uh, you know, just helping you being a better player. That happens every day. And you've played all over, most recently, obviously, in Australia. What do you think is going to be the biggest learning curve coming to the NBA? What's going to be different to you? I mean, the, the game schedule is definitely different. Uh, there's way more games in the NBA, so uh, I'll probably say that. With Jonas Valanciunas, just going up against him in practice every day, how can that help you as a young player? I mean, that can definitely help, you know, just me learning the physicality of the NBA. Uh, he's a really physical big, and, uh, you know, just – being able to practice against him is just going to make me more ready for the games. Hi, Alex. Ian Quill and Associated Press. Uh, it's not very often that you come to a situation where you have someone with a similar backstory who's gone through their first year, a year before you, you know, another French player who's drafted a, a, in the teens. A, 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 you know, how much do you plan to lean on Bilal as far as what to expect in your first year? And what's, I know he's, he said he, you guys didn't know each other that much growing up or play against each other that much growing up, but how much do you plan on, on leaning on his very recent experiences as a rookie in, in your first year? Yeah, I mean, it's great having him. Uh, you know, obviously he's from France too, uh, so it's really special for me to have a, a teammate like him. And, uh, you know, he's, he's been through his rookie year, so anything I can learn from him I'll ask. And, uh, you know, I, I think we can both make uh, each other grow. Hey, Alex. Um, uh, Josh Valdez. Um, I was wondering, what is the biggest difference um, from playing, you know, in Australia and then playing here over the summer? Um, you know, just in terms of the game and um, just the play style and, and really anything that comes to mind? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it was pretty similar. Uh, the NBL is like a really fast-paced league, too, uh, and physical. So, you know, it was, uh, it was some similarities more than, more than differences, I'll say. Yeah, and then obviously you had a you had a couple of games where you know the shots weren't going down probably as much as you would have liked. Do you think you um, sort of was there anything like was the cause of that, or do you think is is there something to improve on there, or you know how, how do you like uh, 
how, how would you like try to improve that as the actual NBA season rolls along? Yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, summer league experience was great. Uh, you know, I played four games. Uh, I learned about my teammates. Uh, I learned about, you know, how my shots was going to come in the games. But uh, I'm really locked in the season right now. Um, you know, I'm, I have a great staff around me, a uh, great group of players, and I feel like we're all motivated just to get, uh, get rolling with the season. Hey, Alex. It was a tough summer league at times offensively for you. Was that something that, like, you thought about, took with you, anything like that? Yeah, I mean, again, you know, it was, like, four games for me. So, uh, you know, I, I, I had, like, a lot of uh, learning points I could take from that. So I feel like it was a great experience, honestly. And, uh, yeah, like, what's really important is the season coming in front of us right now. And then... Practicing against Jonas, you talked about the physicality that he brings. Was there a moment at any point where, you know, 265 pounds posts up into you and you're like, oh, my God? Uh, not yet. We haven't really played live, so uh, yeah, not yet. Hi, Alex. Um, looking at the way that you've been able to acclimate yourself so far, what have you been able to learn about BK as a head coach in a very short window of time, and what do you think – is the biggest thing you can learn from him in your first season? Yeah, I feel like BK really put the accent on us playing hard on defense, uh, getting out, getting stops, and you know being a really fast-paced team. So uh, I feel like that's something you can always implement in your game, uh, and that's what winning habits are really. So uh, just taking that from him uh, is definitely going to make me a better player. And then Bilal spoke about getting used to the officiating and the way it's done overseas versus the NBA. Has he had any conversation with you about that? Is that something you're well aware of and will have to try to, you know, adjust your game to, especially on the defensive end? Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely aware of it. Uh, I feel like that's stuff I'll pick up, you know, during preseason, uh, getting used to officiating and stuff like that. So, like, three seconds in the key, uh, stuff that are different from the Europe or a FIBA system, so uh, that's just stuff I, I guess I'll just pick up on the fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. And Alex, I was also wondering if, uh, how, have you, how much have you gotten to talk to like Jordan Poole and Kuz so far? Have you been able to learn anything? Obviously it's super early, but have you been able to soak in any knowledge yet just from their years in the league and yeah. being on championship, you know, um, high contending teams? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, JP is like a point guard, so, uh, you know, it's, a lot of connection between me and him that, that needs to be made. So uh, we talk a lot about, you know, screening angles, uh, what are his spots on the floor, what are my spots, and, you know, just trying to get to know each other. Sam for Kuz, uh, you know, he's a really dominant, uh, you know, and I guess I try to find my windows when I'm playing with him, uh, what's his spots, you know, uh, what are his habits, what shots he takes. So, uh, you know, I can definitely learn from both of them. Alex, uh, Martenzi Johnson with Anscape. You said earlier you don't really care about playing the four or the five, but I did want to know what do you see for yourself as far as working in the paint or being a back to, you know, back to the basket sort of forward or center? Yeah. I mean, I feel like for me uh, what's important is like kind of doing both. That's when really I can be impactful. Uh, you know, when you have a smaller guy on you, you might roll and play at the rim or when someone is dropping, you can pop and, and shoot. So it's really reading the defense more than anything else. Alex, uh, Josh Robbins with The Athletic. Uh, what are you looking forward to most about the season ahead? I mean, I'm really looking forward, like, the first game, honestly, you know, really opening night. Um, you know, that's really what's going to start the season. And uh, I feel like that, that was set me as an NBA player, uh, so I'm, I'm really excited for that. Hey, Alex, are you looking forward to the Montreal trip, and what's it been like being on a team where there are a few other French speakers? Yeah, so, I mean, there's a lot of French speakers right now on the team, so it's definitely great uh, being able to speak French. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I feel like that trip is going to be nice. Uh, we're playing the Raptors. You know, it's going to be a great trip because we can practice there, and uh, we'll learn more about our team, so it's going to be exciting. Bilal said that you guys have been talking trash in French, uh, so that no one else hears. Uh, any choice words that you'd like to share? <laughs> I don't know if I'll share them, but definitely, you know, if, if you can help me avoid getting texts, I'll, I'll definitely talk French. <laughs>